Ching, I've been thinking about the song All Lang Syne, which I played every New Year's Eve for umpteen years. It's really a nice melody, and it was written by Robert Burns wrote the words in 1788 and adapted it to a traditional folk song. And it's a very simple song in the sense that it can be harmonized with just three chords, the one, the four, and the five. So in the key of F, it would sound like this. Just three chords. Now, I thought it would be worthy of trying to come up with something a little more in depth. And so I've come up with three arrangements, and they're going to be available for you to download on my website. And the first one is the drop two. The second one will be a traditional arrangement, but with more elaborate chording and arpeggiated chords. And then the third one will be a jazz interpretation with reharmonization and rootless voicings. So here we go now with All Lang Syne. Before I continue with the second arrangement, I want to talk a little bit about what I did in this first arrangement, and that is the first thing I had to do was reharmonize the song. I had to find a way to make this harmonically more elaborate. So now, what happened is, I'll just take the first few measures. One chord to the five chord. One chord to the four chord. So now what I did was I added Instead of just one to five, I, w I added a, a, a progression of a one, six, two, five, and then I put approaches to some of those chords. Like, first one is F now, A over C sharp, to the D minor, which would be like the sixth chord, and then a diminished approach to the G minor seven, and then a tritone substitute approach to the five chord made the five chord is suspended and then another A over C sharp approach to the D minor. Now you can look at this in the second arrangement but I had to have had to do this for the whole song and then put it into a drop two technique. So that was a two-step process. First reharmonizing and understanding how that works and then putting into the drop two technique. So now the drop two technique just means that now what I did was I took that reharmonization and I put it into my right hand, like this. Like that. Okay, then what I did was, it's a four note chord, then I took the second note from the, the top and put it into the left hand and took, take it out of the right hand. And now it sounds like this. adjustment there to make it a diminished chord, A diminished. Now you want to take a look at the sheet on this that I wrote out and study this and see how I reharmonized. You're going to have the very simple version plus now the drop two. You can look at those two right away. Now we'll continue with the second arrangement.
For this second technique, which I call the traditional gospel technique, I just used a lead sheet. And that's a good thing to work with. A lead sheet just has the melody and the chords. And it's important to learn how to write your own chords and reharmonize it and act, actually work from just a lead sheet. Because it's much simpler and then you can play it in a way that you want it to sound. But you need to learn a lot of these techniques about reharmonization. So the way I did it was I had this. Now I'm using the spread voicing, which means I'm spreading out the harmonies, like expanding them like this. I use the F chord, now an approach to the D minor chord, and then an approach to the G minor, and then approach to the C. Now these approach chords are usually from a half step below or a half step above. So they could be an inverted chord like that, or a diminished chord like that, or a tritone substitute like that. You have a lot of options once you understand reharmonization. And you can learn this from my book, but anyway, we continue now. I go to the four chord here now. Rather than just sitting on the four, I could do that, but I, I want some movement on every, I want a different chord on every beat. So I do this. So I'm moving right down the B flat scale, harmonizing it like this. B flat, F chord with an A in the bass to a G minor. Then the B diminished, taking me to the one chord, but with the five in the bass. So like you see, the diminished chord is approaching by way of it, the roots rather than the chord. Like that. So what's important is to understand the roots and also the chord and how you can play inversions of those in, in order to create approach tones. You can study this in my book, but now I'm going to continue. And of course you want to expand, you know, the, the whole picture by going up to the higher register. move it expanding out. Now, moving into the jazz interpretation, we're going to change the rhythm, the feeling of the rhythm. It's going to be swing now, swing rhythm, and we're going to interpret the melody according to a jazz style and also the chords. So here we go now with the jazz interpretation. For the jazz style, I'm putting it into a jazz interpretation in terms of the rhythm. That's the most important thing, that it has swing eights and syncopation. So rather than the melody being, it's more like, like that. It's more of jazz phrasing. And you can study those on previous videos I've done. And also with the chording now, I'm using like this. I'm using a combination of spread voicings and rootless chords up here. And I'm also doing something with chords up here and then octaves. 
Now the other thing you could do with the jazz interpretation is this is a called the locked hands position. You could do that. So you want to study some of my other previous videos to get the details on all of this. Again, it's a lot of times I'll use uh, things in the bass, create a little bass line movement. I'll use arpeggiated movement of the chords and then the spread voicings like like that spread voicings then this uh, rootless chords up here and I changed some of the chords to keep them simpler so that they could be voiced in an easier manner in a more comfortable manner from chord to chord so that's about it um, I hope you can download these and check them out and I will be happy to hear from you. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making these arrangements. So let me know if you enjoyed them. Send me a comment. I really appreciate that. And I will always answer all comments.